a perfect way to get the gloss up result out of the system. Certainly, Paul. Certainly. I think that goes down as one of our best performances this season. Just all round performance from the front to the back. He had uh, a couple of Debutants in the back line, Mike Gavin at right back and Tom Stewart in the centre back and they seemed to slot right in. Yeah, they didn't look like Debutants. It's fair, two young lads come in, bobbly pitch, physical team and uh, they were both uh, both had great games. I'm really pleased for them actually. You know, it's, sometimes it can't be easy coming into a new team and uh, they've slotted right in, like you're saying. Had, both had really good games, really, really pleased for them, especially young Tom. He's been threatening to come in the team. He had a bit of an illness, and he's coming there today. And he's played a cool performance, really cool on the ball, calm, and uh, he's defended really well. And pleased for him. Um, pretty much won the game by half time. Would you say that's fair? Well, <laughs> we can't say that anymore, can we? Because we've had a few of them this season where we thought we won the game at half time. And, um, but yeah, I think that first half performance knocked the stuffing out of them. The man sent the sent it off and the red cut uh, the goal by Lawless uh, just killed the game then and just a first class performance, Paul. It's great. Really, really pleased for everybody involved. Did you think it was a red card challenge? Yeah, it, it, from where we were standing, it looked it looked like it caught him across the hips and just cleaned him out. He looked pretty ugly from where we were. I mean, Bucko, he said at half time he was all right. He said he felt all right. It was more his leg that he'd injured, but. Yeah, I think it was a red card, and I think you know, after that it was just going to be too much for them. The way we set up today, we set up with a different formation. Three very attacking players up front, and we just had men in space all the time. You know, we had men in space all over the pitch. There was always a man free, and it was just too much for all sages today. And but to be to be fair to them, they didn't give up. They kept going even with the man down. They kept on pressing and, and bombing balls forward and having a go. And, and you know they could have had a couple of goals near the end themselves. Set for some fine saves by Lakey. He's put in another. You know there are eight out of ten performance in kept us in the game. So please, and uh, all three of the front men got on the score sheet as well. But yeah, yeah. Paul mentioned that actually after the lawless goal. You know. You can't ask for any more from your strikers. Jonesy at a pearler in the first half, that'd have probably been goal of the season. And nice for Ronnie to get off the mark. He's had a few games with us now, he's settled in, he's obviously an intelligent player, a lot of experience. So it's great for him to get his first goal. Hopefully he can get a few more now. Just uh, march on to Wigan Robin Park on Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, there's gonna be a few games coming up now, isn't there? So we're uh, gonna be busy. Um, Wigan Robin Power, that'll be another good game. We had a good game against them last time in the Cup, where we, where we won 4-2. It's a nice surface there, so it'll suit uh, suit the way that we're, we're playing at the moment. Hopefully get a good positive result there and then move on to the Cup game at Cheadle and uh, see what we can do in the Cup. 3-0 win today, uh, must be pleased with that result. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, after the big loss we had, um, Tuesday night, it's always good to bounce back. Good win, a clean sheet for the lads, so made up with the performance. Uh, another clean sheet for yourself, that must be pleasing as well. Yeah, yeah, it is like um, that four in the last seven games. Obviously, we had a heavy defeat um, Tuesday night, conceding six, so it's always good to bounce back and get a clean sheet, so I'm very happy with that. Uh, and you had to pull off a couple of decent saves to keep that clean sheet as well. Yeah, they made me work for it at the end, like, but. You know, they're going to get chances in the 90 minutes, the lads were brilliant and got a bit tired towards the end, so I had to pop up and help them out with a couple of good saves and a double save at the end, so I'm really pleased with that. It was uh, one that looked uh, inconspicuous but caused you a little bit of problems when it bounced up. Oh yeah, no, as I was look around, I just already had the ball in my hands and the next minute it's over it, bouncing nearly in the net, so I had to readjust and I um, managed to palm it over the bar, so and we defended the corner well after that, so there was no arms on. Uh, you had a couple of new players in front of you, uh, Mike Gavin and uh, Tom Stewart. Uh, how do you think they fitted in? Yeah, I thought um, Mike was different class right back. First game in six months and um, young Tom was different class. I think he's only 18, possibly 19. The thought he adapted as well. Fitted in with the lads and I um, thought they both outstanding today. And, uh, must be reassuring for you that uh, Jackson it was uh, playing today after his injury concern the other week. Yeah, definitely. Jack's um, one of the best um, centre-halves in the league, if not the best. So always gives you a bit of a boost going into the game when you've got your uh, main centre-half playing. So 
and he was outstanding as well today. He was getting a bit tight at the end of his hamstring, but pulled through it well. Yeah, take this uh, performance through into Tuesday night now. Yeah, definitely. We've got a um, Wigan Robin Park. Beat them, um, I think it was 4-2 to the start of the season. I didn't play, but um, I think we can do the same on Tuesday night with a bigger margin. So hopefully get another three points and march up the table Tuesday. Uh, three nil must be a pleasing, af pleasing afternoon's work for you. Uh, it's nice to get the response uh, from the last game uh, two weeks ago, uh, and the, not so much the result. The performance was um, top notch. Very pleasing considering I had uh, a young right back coming in, uh, Mikey Gavan, uh, and young Thomas Stewart centre half. Uh, considering they come in, uh, they done ever so well the two of them. Uh, Overall, uh, dominated the game. Uh, three tremendous goals, uh, and overall, very pleasing. Very pleasing. Started off on the right foot. I mean, the ball never left their half for the first five minutes. Well, if you can, you know, if you can start off on the front foot and keep the opposition on the back foot for a period of time, then it sets the tempo of the game, uh, and that was the plan of action today to get them on the back foot from the moment we kicked off. Uh, and it worked a treat. Um, I thought s s some some of the play today was absolutely tremendous. Yeah, it's a pretty formidable front line there, haven't you? For John Lawless, Ronnie Morgan, Steve Jones. Uh, well, it's nice to play the three of them at the same time and uh, for the three of them to score. Because uh, I think that's the first time at this football club that the three forwards that have been on the pitch have actually scored. But it wasn't just uh, them scoring goals. The pleasing thing was... The, uh, the formation we played, uh, that they worked ever so well, especially when we haven't had the ball. And sometimes forwards get a bit lazy, but today they put a good shift in, uh, and that sets the soul. Um, one of your signings of the season is probably Liam Lachlan, and he just seems to fit right in there, doesn't he? Well, Liam's an honest lad. If he's anything like his dad, uh, Billy, uh, Billy, was, Billy was a great player. Uh, and if he's anything like his, his dad, uh, then he won't go far wrong. I think Liam's one of the most honest footballers I've ever come across, to be fair. Wherever you play him, he'll have a little go. It's the same with Jackson. Uh, but you're right about Liam, he's, he's fitted in really well. But then I think that goes down to the lads, the squad that I've got. They all get on with each other, and that helps. And any manager will tell you if you've got a gang of lads that get on with each other, then they work that little bit extra harder. But yeah, he's been a great signer for me so far. As uh, one of the happy accidents, uh, Sean Harris at left back. Well, I spoke to Sean. I think Sean can be uh, a decent left back. I mean, uh, he was a forward. He told me when he first came to the club. Um, but as as time's gone on, I've noticed something, and he can give us something where he's playing, uh, because when he goes forward, he's like a bull, um, and that's not being disrespectful to him. You know, the the, the second goal, I think it was, or the third goal. Um, once you get Sean Harrison in a one-one situation, it's only ever going to be one winner. Uh, but it's a credit to him that he's knuckled down, he's listening to what's being getting told to him, and he's becoming a decent left back. And uh, a clean sheet must be a bonus result for you as well. <laughs> well, it is for Sean Lake because he keeps going like that. That's another clean sheet, is the only chance of a cake. Uh, because the little bet is, is that if he keeps a certain amount of clean sheets, I've got to buy him uh, sayers. <laughs> Uh, but it's pleasing for the lad to be fair, yeah. Uh, I'm happy for him. I think he's an honest kid, again. Uh, I think he's a very, very good goalkeeper. Uh, he's had his ups and downs in the football, but he seems to be enjoying it. Uh, and it's a credit to him that he's come back and he's come to AFC Liverpool. And uh, I think we're seeing the qualities of Sean now. I mean, he's pulled off one or two saves today, which is sublime. Uh, considering he hasn't been in the game much, uh, he's dealt with the crosses, uh, punches, and he's been... Overall, he's been very good, and he's been another credit to, uh, to the to the lads and, and to myself. He's come in, and he's just he's wore his heart on his uh, shirt, and he's done well to be fair. And uh, must be uh, building the confidence up for Tuesday night and way to Wigan, Robin Park. Well, you can only it's the old cliche, Paul, isn't it? You can only uh, you know you can only play, take one game at a time, and that's what I said. You know, we try and get the mentality. It's no use going when well, we do this and we do that, and that's who we're playing because there's going to be a time we're going to play four times a week. The other cliche is, listen, we've won today, relax over the weekend, let's go Tuesday. Uh, you know, that type of performance, you know, I don't have to say too much to the lads because they enjoy playing football 
and they love playing football and considering they played on the pitch again and I'm not being disrespectful to Prescott, it must be hard for them into the aspect that they've got to deal with, what they've got to deal with. But my lads today again showed what they're capable of and it's very, very pleasing and uh, I think uh, our supporters are being happy with it, uh, today's performance as well. Congratulations on today's result. Thank you very much Paul. And the weight loss is looking well, isn't it? <laughs>